Daily Outdoors is sponsored by Mr. Jinrai LLC. We are a company with the heart of a lion. Our logo is a symbol of pride alongside our aloha spirit. Our message is, be proud of who you are, have respect, and show love unto others. Always remember where you come from, stand strong, and never let negativity bring you down. Show the world you have the heart of a lion. To view all of Mr. Jinrai's amazing products, follow the link in the description below. Or if you find yourself in the Battlefield, Utah area, check out Murphy's Guitars, located at 133 North Main Street. For an exclusive line of Mr. Jinrai hats, supplies are limited. Mr. Jinrai, wear the heart of a lion. Well, guys, out here working our way through and, well, found the most random freaking tree stand ever. I think this thing's been there for a little while. Well, guys, we just got a uh, snowshoe hair. Not bad. I think I blew its foot off. I think there's a third one. That's unfortunate. Really? I'm freaking kick myself over not bringing binoculars, dude. On, mama Just wander on up the hill not up the canyon up the hill follow your baby go on up she thinks you're a piece of shit hey as long as she's not coming my way She can do whatever she wants as long as she's not coming after me. Oh uh, yeah, it might be a little bull calf. James is on the board. One grouse, one rabbit. So guys, so far it's been, it's been pretty good. Me and James are a little bit separated at the moment. Took uh, dividing trails, but he's got one grouse. I've got a, I got a snowshoe hair. Honestly, we hadn't planned on looking for rabbits, but I took the shot because why not? I've never tried snowshoe hair. I'm gonna try it. I did just find something that got me pretty excited. Yeah, we got some fairly fresh elk sign. That gets me pretty excited because I still have my late season cow elk tag. I have to wait till December 1st to start hunting again. Because to be honest, I did not try that hard during the regular rifle elk season because I knew I'd have an extra two months later. So, I'm excited because I've never hiked up this far into this canyon before. I have seen elk in this canyon before. Just never when I've been hunting them, so see that they're still in here. If we don't get snow, I have an idea of where to come into. So that's that's something at least. But anyway, let's uh let's get back to the grind. I'm hoping we can find some more sage grouse or ruffled grouse, whatever you want to call them. I just kind of lump them all together into sage grouse. So guys, I wasn't even looking for this, but I ended up finding a rub. Like, there's been a bowl or something in here. I'm guessing it's a bowl because I found his wallow. Like, I think I'm going to put a camera up. I mean, I don't have a bowl tag, but 
But this is where he's hanging out. Like, I want to know. I want to see what he is. Maybe we can find his antler sheds and hunt him next year. That'd be sweet. Like, cause he, he just left that wallow not too long ago. This, this is pretty awesome. That's cool. As well, that is our adventure for today. It was a good time getting out and looking for grouse and ended up getting that rabbit as well. Seeing some moose, found some good elk sign. I'm excited to uh, get going on my tag again. Um, but thanks everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Mr. Jenner, I'm a sponsor. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Good afternoon, State Outdoor Fam. How y'all doing? So, um, since uh, earlier in the video, when I posted me and James going out grouse hunting, it's been just about, actually it's been a week. Um, give or take a couple hours. But I am heading back up there right now. Um, I'm taking my shotgun with me again. I'm hoping I can run some grouse, which would be cool. Um, maybe a rabbit. I don't know. I'd like to try again at a rabbit because uh, the one that I shot, it actually had signs of tularemia. And I, I ain't about that. So I just ended up throwing it out. I'm not willing to risk getting sick over a rabbit. Um, but yeah, heading up there. Going to go check that trail camera. I'm hoping it's still there. I'm hoping nobody stole it. Because someone stole uh, my memory card out of my camera this year. When I went to go pick them up from where I had them, someone had stolen the memory card out. Left the batteries, left the camera, but they took the memory card. That I don't get that. So yeah, heading up there. Let's get going. So something I did get to do this time that I didn't get to do last time is I got my GoPro hooked up to my shotgun. I don't know how the video is going to turn out if I get a shot at something. But it sounded like a fun idea. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a fun thing to do. Um, probably can't do it with my rifle hunt that I still got coming up. But you know what? We'll see what happens. Uh, that didn't last long. Um, had a bird fly up took a shot and I mean I nailed it I just blew it apart but I broke my camera <laughs> totally broke it off that sucks ah, well that was disappointing <laughs> got one shot off with that and it broke scared me good. I came around this corner and those two moose from the other day were standing right there staring at me. I'm glad they didn't come walking any closer to me. Oh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera I'm shaky. I... So I always keep buckshot with me when I have my shotgun. I usually keep like five rounds right there. You know what? It's mostly for if I ever go coyote hunting, but if I run into something that's a little unfriendly, like moosin, I, uh, I know it's not going to kill him, but it's going to sting a lot more. Here. You see where it's all torn up? That's kind of where they whirled around and like screw this. I think they went up over that ridge though. This direction I saw them going. It's almost sad. Oh hey, look, fresh elk sign. It's almost sad how relieved I am to see that thing still there. So that was disappointing. I'm assuming someone got to my camera and messed with it. It's like, right here at the edge of the water, there's fresh elk tracks. Like, stuff came through here. But the only thing on my camera is me. Like, I don't know. 
I'm guessing someone came through and probably deleted pictures, but hey, you learn, right? But I'm gonna start working my way out. It's starting to get a little dark, it's starting to cool down. It's a bummer. Yeah, we only got like an hour of sunlight, so well, maybe, maybe I'll gloss around. Because I've only got a couple more weeks till my uh, rifle hunt starts up again. I really just want to find a cow, man. Like, I, I don't even care. I just, I just want a cow. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to find a grouse on the way out, too. Let's see what happens. Guys, how is this for cool? I've like I've heard owls like hooting and such out here, but I've never run into one. I don't know if I scared off its hunting ground or what, but I just want to do this, this thick stuff again, and it just flew up. It's pretty cool. Though. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna about wrap it up. Uh, seen one bird, got a shot, just tore it apart. Um, yeah, no luck on the trail cameras, but saw that owl, that was pretty cool, and, uh, saw some moose again, saw three moose, that's a lot of moose in this area, I'm guessing the elk are all still up higher, but, thanks everybody for watching, sorry it's been so long since I posted a video, but, you know, I got my, I got ice fishing season coming up here soon, and, my uh, cow elk hunt. Gonna be working on that. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for my sponsor, Mr. Junrai. See you guys on the next one.